Right then, batter. Sorry, that's a uh, Yorkshire phrase my dad keeps on saying to me, so yeah, kind of in my head. Anyhow, anyhow, let's get on with the sixth episode, which is what I welcome you to. Yep, this is the sixth episode of my How to Build an Advanced 8-Bit Computer in the side Minecraft, and as usual, it starts raining just as I record. Okay, let's just turn it off. And did it today, like this. Okay, so in the previous video, we did the cut carry function, which allows us to do the XR logic gate and the set carry to one function, which allows us to do invert output and which will allow us to invert all of the logic gates. So if we want to do NAND instead of AND, we'd do the combination for AND and then we'd flick that little lever down there and we would have NAND just like magic. Magic. Uh, anyhow, let's, uh, let's get on with the next function. Uh, and that function is something which I was about to build last episode before I realised I needed to do these two and that is the uh, uh, um, <laughs> what's it called? Yeah, the logic function, the bypass adders function, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, what this does is it bypasses this um, piston here, this piston here, effectively rendering this almost useless and rendering that the XOR will only set something through if the bottom input is on. And then it uh, it then takes the input from here and then it goes all the way over the top and then takes it to here. It's a bit weird how this works and to be honest um, I'm going to have a hard time explaining it but just trust me with this one, it works and that is pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> now I will do my best to explain it once I've built it, it'll be much easier to explain when there's actually something there so to try to do it by imagination. Um, so let's yeah let's do this. How how do you do it? How do we do it? Oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've built this thing. Alright, so we need that like that, and that like that. Will that work? So when that is down, that will allow it through there. But when that is up, no, that's not going to work. I don't think. Okay, let me just be right back with how you do this. Okay then, <laughs> I can't believe I actually began to build something without remembering how to build it. Yes, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't my finest moment, but yeah, I am. Um, what I thought I was going to build is actually right. I did just need a bit of a, a bit of proof, I think, to remember how to build it. So yeah, this is what you need to do. You need to take this here, you need to separate it with a uh, transparent block, so half slab or glowstone, and then take it all the way over here. Um, make sure you don't cause any buds as they mess with your mind, I tell you. No, I don't really. It's just a pain in the backside. Okay, so, um, yeah, this might be a bit weird. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. If I'm going to be able to stack it now, I want to stack this bit. I don't want to mess anything up, to be honest. So let's just do it the old fashioned way and build it by hand like all of the first computers were. Uh, I really do admire those first the guys who made the first computers, the, uh, the super clever engineer guys who um, first realised the potential of redstone in Minecraft and built horrendously big stuff but also very very powerful stuff considering that um, nothing had been compacted and basically they didn't know anything about pistons or anything like that pistons went around and they used just blocks, torches and redstones to do crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. I see yeah, I admire them greatly. Anyhow, a bit of a tangent. Just do as I follow. Um, yeah, there's not much to say when building this. It's a little bit tedious. Uh, like that. And yeah, just carry this over. Uh, that's not enough but that. No. So long when I'm recording, the silences of awkwardness are horrendous. Ha, huh, okay. Um, now we've got that, we need to do a way of stopping and allowing through the redstone up this line because this is like the bypassing bit. This bypasses these.
things down here and they will attach to pistons around about there somewhere along that so we need to add pistons here uh, there we go so let's do this oh gosh I hate the pin stacking without the wand um, so yeah you're going to have to pause one manually again it kind of sucks but you know nothing we can do about that so we have pause one set down there and pause two set here and we can stack seven like that has that worked? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know why that didn't select those but oh well not too difficult to place them back in Okay, so now we have that little bit sorted. We now just need to do the second half of it. And wow, we've almost finished the ALU. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, um How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? Ah yes, I remember. So we need to come here. Same as the alternating. And so we have all of our things. Oh no, Ooh, I'm going to have troubles. I can tell you, troubles will be horrendous. Um, yeah, let's build it like this. I've uh, realised that my explanation levels are. Uh, gradually decreasing along with this episode. I haven't really explained much in a while. But yeah, you're gonna have to just build it like I do and then I'll explain at the end why this works and how this works and all that jazz. Okay, so now we need to connect every single one of these to. Oh, wow, well, it's going to be a horrendous job. Absolutely horrendous. So, each one of these needs to be connected to one of these. And that's going to really, really annoy me how to do this. Right then, so, seems like the most obvious one to do straight away is this one. It's pretty easy. It's just a straight line. Um, let's add half slab in there so it doesn't bud. Okay, uh, no, that's not going to work there. Looks like that's going to be our only option, I think. Bit, bit messy, but you know, it'll work. Uh, that needs to be a half slab because I won't power that. And up there. So that's that one done. This one's a bit easier. Just do that. Uh, now for the next one. Shouldn't be too bad either. No, I can't place it there. Need that to block off. Nope. Hmm. This is tricky. This be very tricky. Uh, I have to do this, Santa. So that's that one. Like that. Sorted. Now for the next one. Which we can do the same again, I think. Oh, I've just realised that that isn't going to work. And they all need to be like that. Okay. So that has to be like that also. Those two on there. And leading up like that. Ah, so this does repeat. This does, uh, isn't really too bad. It's just a little bit messy. Okay, so now straight down again. Oop, lagging. Sorry. Oh, I could 
could have done this better, couldn't I? Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well, I've done it like this now. Don't hate. Now I'm dreading it if this has to have, it has to have a repeater because that will add one tick to it and that's going to greatly annoy me. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! No repeaters needed. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, so now these are connected like that. That's going to be so nice. Oops, I forgot this one here. Could I be so silly? For similarity's sake, we will uh, build it the same way, even though there's no real need. In fact, no, we will. No, we won't. Just build it like that. Much easier. Okay, so that is now our bypass adders function done. Let me just set it to day and explain it. Oh, why, why does caps lock even. Oh, silly thing. Okay. So, that's that done. Okay, so this allows us to do or the function for or, which um, uh, is not, which you can't do any other way. There's no way to do or with set carries or cut carries or inverting. There's just no possible way of doing it. This is the only way of doing ors, except um, another longer way, which makes it a lot slower. Which uh, basically you just take the inputs from down here. You build an all gate underneath and then you join them back up again with a mux at the end but that adds a lot of delay. This doesn't add any delay to the actual uh, actual timings. Um, so how this works is if you've got an input coming through here when this needs to be uh, inverted. At the moment that's just gonna work like a standard um, just like the standard adder. It's not gonna go up here or do anything fancy but when you do have an input coming through on the top and you want this to happen that gets sent over here it um, comes all the way over here and it turns off this here and it disables this from working and since that's disabled from working now if that's turned on uh, turned off sorry that will also turn off if this is turned on it will turn on and if they are both turned on, which if I do like that, as you can see there's a quick blink here which might cause block drops, I hope it doesn't, I really hope it doesn't, but yeah, I think it's caused a block drop somewhere, that's annoying, I'll have to fix that somehow, but yeah, um, why is it redstone right there, uh, but basically that has allowed us to do R, so now that we have both of them coming through, oh yeah, we also need to cut carry, I forgot we cut carry and that allows that to be turned off. So that allows us to do R um, and yeah there's not really much to explain about it. It's just really really nifty. Um, so we can now and that also allows us to and. So now in this ALU it looks a bit silly but you know YOLO. <laughs> oh god I hate that so much don't understand that. Um, so yeah, this allows us to do subtraction, adding, uh, anding, oring, xoring, xnoring, nanding, um, noring, um, inverting. <laughs> uh, when the shift is added, it'll be like add and divide by um, multiply and divide by two. Uh, loads and loads and loads of things in this tiny compact thing. And in the next video, I will build a decoder. And what that decoder will do is will um, turn each of these like functions these are the raw functions into like an actual gate so if you want to add none of these functions will be uh, none of these levers sorry will be on but if you want to R the like flicker lever on the decoder which will be somewhere around here the uh, the correct levers will then be uh, turned on on the LU and then we can just do it on the input so that's what that's going to be and that means that you'll find out exactly how to do every single logic gate I know that the explanation of this was a bit sketchy, but I hope it was not too hard to follow. And that is it. That's the majority of the LU done, except the shifter, which is a piece of kick. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.